I can tell you one thing, folks. I think we're glad to be at work because Jason and I, we had stressful weekends, like worse than the work week kind of weekends. Oh, 100%. Yeah, 200%. So we're glad to be here. Yeah, life is crazy. It is, like right when you don't expect it to be. Yeah. And, and one thing I want to say, and this is like I tell people all the time, when you go to work, you can't change your outside surroundings. Like right. it's still going to be there when you leave work. So when you're at work, have fun, have a good time. Don't stress out and just be yourself and have a good time. And then when you leave work, all your problems are still going to be there. I <laughs> Guaranteed. promise you. Guaranteed. Wow. Pro tip of the day. I'm telling you, it's true. Wow. I didn't know we had an inspirational speaker on our <laughs> That was pretty impressive, man. I, I thought it was. I hit home. <laughs> We're back for another episode of Building the Nantahala Retreat, and um, we're going to be doing the exact same thing we did the last video, <laughs> laying some more tile. But different rooms. But different rooms. It's going to be totally different, totally trust different. me. It's going totally to be like not even the same at all. <laughs> so it's going to be lots of fun and good tiling tips, Crazy I think. Crazy stuff. Going we don't know yet because we haven't filmed it or done any of it. Well, let's, let's start doing that. Here's our floor leveling tees right here, and we're kind of working on how to break these. There's probably some instructions. But Jason figured something out that I think is a pro tip. If you just take these, get this one right here, right, and just leave the whirly gig on there and then bang. bang. <laughs> so leave the whirly gig on is the pro tip. If you take it off, it's not gonna work very easy. Yeah, now we gotta put all those back on. I'm gonna go right. I'll put them, I'll do it. I'll put them on, it's okay. Give me some whirly gigs, yeah. Then you gotta get the golf tee out. And that's trash, that part. Whoa! Man, I had one job. Oh no! We'll have to knife that one out of there. That looked really weird in slow-mo. Yeah. It's all jiggly. <laughs> jiggly. <laughs> so I don't know if I mentioned it or not in the last video where we did the same thing, but usually you have to start your tile layout at the most visible place, which is at the door threshold, but usually you have to start like way in the back of the room and work yourself back to there. For that reason, I usually like to start at least one row from the door threshold working back to make sure that my pieces working back from the other way are going to work out good on my door threshold and that's what I'm doing here. All right, John and I are here and uh, we need to cut a hole in that tile for uh, the water supply line and that's the bit we got and this cuts holes in tile but as you can see there's no center bit, center bit to keep you centered on your tile. So what happens is when you go to try to put that on there, it's just gonna jump around. So a little pro tip is we do this. Take a piece of wood, just a scrap, and we cut a one inch hole in it. And then we're gonna hold that over the center hole. And then you're gonna hold that down and put your bit in there and that's gonna keep your bit. Jason forgot how noisy drills were, but he's probably saying something about how water helps to keep down the dust and keep the bit cool. And also that he probably wished I had one of these yesterday. Just like that. Voila! Presto. Good job, bub. Here you can see I've worked from the door threshold down to this least accessible corner of the bathroom where we're gonna actually start the tile work. And I've actually snapped a few chalk lines based on our original chalk line from the door threshold to make sure all of this tile work coming out of the corner is gonna end up great once I get out to the door threshold. And that's just the way you usually have to do it and that's why I wanna point it out. Something else we're battling here is that maybe something's a little off with this saw and the base that slides, you know, like basically in two feet, <laughs> I'm yelling, we're coming out an eighth inch different here, like I'm seven and three quarters, seven and five eighths, and we got this thing banged tight against the straight edge here. So, um, you know, maybe this saw got bumped in the truck or something. Was, or, it, was it in your truck? No, it was no, a race been truck. it's like this for a while, though. Jones! Yeah. I want to say that, you know, you have to make really square accurate cuts with this type of work. And uh, pretty much any saw we've ever owned, after owning it for a year or more, it needed to be adjusted or thrown in the trash. Yeah, we've adjusted this one. Like and we have times. adjusted this one. It's really hard to get it 
accurate for long cuts really hard. So we may end up just freehanding a line, uh, you know, instead of trying to use the base as our mechanism to cut square. I'm here with Jono again, and we got another pro tip for you. So when you're grabbing full pieces of tile, see what he's doing is just running his fingers around the edges there, and that's to make sure there's no chips in it. You can get kind of hung up and get going fast. That's a great just, tip. And just grab them and throw them down. Next thing you know, at the end of the day, you go and look at your job and you realize that a couple of the tiles have little chips missing out of them. And once they're down and the thin set's dry, you're... Can we say amen on this channel? Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen to that. So it's always it's good, to, good to check your uh, material before you stick it. Let's take a quick break from our video to thank our sponsor for today, Keeps. And hang out with Johnny Brook. Oh, hello. <laughs> He's got me lighting set up and everything. Pro level. Pro level. This isn't about Johnny, this is about Keeps. Keeps has been a longtime sponsor of our videos and we really appreciate it. So with Keeps, you can get your hair loss medication online. You don't have to go to the pharmacy, you don't have to go to the doctor, you don't have to go anywhere, and you're gonna pay only about half of what you'd expect to pay at a pharmacy. Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA approved medications for hair loss, and they'll send you a three month supply at a time. My wife said I should take my hat off because I've been using Keeps myself, and I've been wearing a hat in all these Keeps ads, but check this out. I've got a flowing mane coming back after only using Keeps for about five months now. So if you wanna take action and stop hair loss and even get hair regrowth, go to keeps.com slash Perkins and you'll get 50% off your first order. Thanks to Keeps for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. Laying tile is a lot of labor. And a lot of people have asked me how much should I charge to lay tile or how much should I expect to pay? And I would say in this area, like five to $10 a square foot labor only, which is a lot, but you gotta think, you gotta put down backer board lay the tile, grout the tile. Sometimes you gotta seal the grout and that's a lot of labor. So if you are good at laying tile or at least could bear to do it <laughs> like every single day of your life, you could make a ton of money. Like you could crush it. Um, we try to do it as little as possible is kind of our motto because it's very labor intensive. It's kind of hard on your body, you're crawling around. But in comparison, uh, hardwood floor, like laying a hardwood floor labor, I would expect to pay like three to four dollars a square foot labor only. So this is like double the labor of hardwood floor, which no joke, I think it actually is double the labor. And we got like the double mint <laughs> shirt hey, thing going on here. Just like your boss work day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that Look a thing? Like brothers, beards, glasses, shirts, <laughs> pants. Yeah. You just don't have any tattoos. I know, I'm not cool. Uh, or stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's any labor going on up here. Oh, there is. It's bone labor. <laughs> YouTube labor. Man, you just never know what you're gonna find laying around here. This, this thing you can either paint on one end, or you could sweep if you feel like sweeping. I mean, hey. Whatever yeah. you feel like doing. Whatever grabs you grab, you grab your fancy, you know what I mean? <laughs> We got Anson and John back today. What have you guys been up to the last day? Staining and urethaning the uh, trim around the windows ooh, and the doors. Ooh. And our project on site here today for our Danish crew was to come behind on the floors we had tiled yesterday and get the grout going on those two floors. This was actually a pretty forgiving scenario to learn how to grout on since the grout was a very similar color to the tile and these large format tiles don't have a lot of grout joints. My biggest piece of advice for anyone new to grouting is just to make sure you wring out as much water out of the sponge as you can. Often people sponge with it too wet and the extra water will actually wash the color out of the grout. How are you feeling on that grout sponge? All right. Good. If you've got to do any amount of tile work, I'd really recommend getting one of these grout buckets like we're using here. This one's made by a company called Ruby and I think it was only about 40 bucks. They help to get the water out of the sponge easily with these rollers. And they actually come with this awesome sponge with a handle on it that has cuts in it that actually grabs the grout and pulls it off the tile a lot quicker and easier. And you can keep your hands out of that nasty grout water that'll dry and crack your fingers. Last bathroom down in the pit, we'll call it. But it's well lit and it's not that big, so let's lay it out. Oh, oh, oh that's my job only. <laughs> <You gotta take. 
Good luck with that one. Oh. I wish you luck. Nice knowing you. For anyone that thought I was joking, that's going to be difficult. There's a tent number one. Tall broken half. I'm fully expecting this to take about five tries. Mm, okay. <laughs> After another failed attempt, we decided to just cut this tile right down the center of the cutout for this toilet flange. And this will all be covered by the toilet when it's set on top of the tile, so it doesn't matter. And then we were able to pretty quickly and easily get this cut out and get the tile installed. It's really tempting when you're doing tile work like this to go for absolute perfection on every single cut. But a lot of these cuts are hidden by toilets and cabinets and baseboard. So it's my advice to make really great cuts where it's going to count, like at the threshold or against the tub, but try not to waste too much time on these other cuts because in the finish they won't be visible and no one will ever know. It's also my advice to make sure your camera is focused before you turn it on for a half hour time lapse. Now let's rewind to the most frustrating thing I did all day, and that was grout caulking against these tubs. We're using this foam backer rod to fill most of the gap so it doesn't take like two whole tubes of grout caulk per tub, and that's a great way to also not have the caulk settle when it dries. This foam backer rod comes in a variety of sizes depending on the size of gap you need to fill with it. And the reason for using the grout caulk is it's much more flexible since the tub is slightly flexible. Regular grout would just crack if that's what you use there. And most of the brands that make grout make a color matching grouting caulk in the same color, which is nice. So I think that's what we want right there. It's filled up, but not proud of the top of the tile. And we get some grout caulk going. Oh, I don't love this top one. Okay, this stuff is clearly not coming off easy. Like it doesn't come off with water. So we're gonna get a rag with mineral spirits, kind of give it a go. See if that works a little better. Um, but generally, like in the stuff I've used in the past, a little rag or a sponge with water, psh, no problem. But um, this is heavy. Hey, uh, but it is coming off yeah, now with the mineral spirits. So this is like trying to clean up like a kid's diaper or something. <laughs> I got three kids, so I'll tell you, this is like one of the ones where you just don't know where to start. It's kind of like that. I usually start with my finger. Yeah. <laughs> Ah! Come on. Tell me, guys. All right. And you said we'd have nothing for the camera today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got plenty for the camera, Bo. This is, this this is stressful, camera. man. Our mystery is solved. This is actually silicone based, which I've never bought this stuff that was. Uh, and that must be the T. Plus. I didn't even look at it because I've bought this stuff dozens of times. Never been silicone based. It's always been a water base. And so. The struggle, the mystery of the struggle <laughs> solved. We are done with that and we're showing all this because uh, not trying to like make ourselves look like idiots, but we do try to show the struggle that is construction and all the little things that go along with it, like trying to do grout caulk against the tub. We gotta do that two more times. And to be honest, I don't even love the way it turned out. If you're more than a foot away, it looks perfect. But if you look really close, hopefully nobody's gonna be on their hands and knees staring at that. So that's as good as I can make it look. And uh, after a lot of stress and uh, attempting to do it as good as I could. Thanks for building with us today. We really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and give us a thumbs up and you'll get our future videos as well as helping our channel out by showing YouTube that we're making good content they should recommend to other people. Also, two of our guys, Ray and Jason, have their own YouTube channel. If you don't know about it, you should check that out as well. It's called Ray J Builder Buddies and they named that channel that as a joke. They were making fun of my brother and I they said they're gonna start their own channel called Ray J Builder Buddies, and then they did, and it's actually great. So check that out. Thanks again for building with us. Have a great day.